Welcome to Home Day. We love house tours on City Line, and today we have a gorgeous house to start us off. So let's just get right to it with our very own paint expert, Sharon Grack. Take a look. There is nothing like color to bring joy and personality to your home. And I know I often talk about painted wall color, but even white walls can be the perfect backdrop to lots of color in a space. And I'm so excited to show you some examples here at my very good friend and artist Helen Billet's home. Now I had absolutely nothing to do with this home, but I am so happy she's letting me share it with you because there's some great ideas for how to use color in a space. Now, Helen is an artist, so obviously her pieces and a lot of other pieces that she loves really inspired the color story throughout the home. And it is a custom home. So so of course there's lots of advantages to that, but one of the things I think is so fantastic is being able to build in some one-of-a-kind pieces. Now I love doors, I shoot doors all over the world when I'm traveling. Imagine bringing one to your house, not just in a photograph. This is stunning, it's a salvaged antique door from Egypt and the color is fantastic. It's got such character and detail. It's such a wonderful way to bring your personality into the hallway before you even walk into the rest of the home. Now let's go look at the great room. This is a stunning space, of course, and certainly at different times of the year, you're gonna get lots of different colors outside, but one of the things that's gonna be here all year round is this stunning kitchen. Now, Helen worked with a designer, Laura Fowler, and they worked on all of the finishes, a lot of the details, but this fantastic tile inspired this gorgeous color palette in here. Now, this is Athabasca, which is almost like a periwinkle blue, which I think is stunning for this space. It feels light and airy. Um, but it also brings so much liveliness to the space, especially with the contrast of the warm gold details. And again, you see that in some of the little details, the, the, the lighting especially, which is stunning, and some of the details around the range hood. Now, the entire house is painted with a designer favorite, Simply White, but I really love how in this kitchen they painted the uppers with paper white. So it's a little bit more of a gray tone color, so it adds a little bit of contrast, especially when you see it here. It adds some depth and dimension to all of the beautiful detail in the millwork. Here in the guest room, the cabinets are treated differently than the other spaces. Here, they're camouflaged into the wall. It's a really nice color drenching effect. Garmouth blue is on the walls, on the cabinet, on the baseboards and the trim. So you really get this cohesive, calming feeling, which I think allows you to then focus on the beautiful fabrics on the curtains, the bed, the wood beams on the ceiling that are throughout the house. And look at this stunning work of art of a light fixture. I mean, the ceilings go all the way up. Please welcome Sharon Grek in studio with me. Oh my gosh. I know. What a stunning house. I, I look at that house and I'm just like, you know what? I like, what do we do? Do we burn ours down and start from scratch? <laughs> like, it's so beautiful. But the Sometimes. one thing, right? The one thing I noticed about it, I noticed so many things about it, but there's color yes. placed everywhere and not necessarily on the walls. Absolutely. It's all these different things, those beautiful doors, like everything else is, is colorful and that must have made you happy. It's so creative and, and uh, they're really good friends of mine and when I went into the house, I had nothing to do with it, but I was in love. Yeah. I thought it's such a modern contemporary home, which we're used to seeing a lot of white and black. Yes. And they use color strategically. The designer really got their personality and was able to incorporate in so many fun ways. Mm -hmm. So I thought, please let me shoot this and show it to our City Line viewers because I want them to be inspired by yes. that. It's just so wonderful. So, yeah. so much inspo going on. So, so much so inspo. And in cabinets, we definitely lots of places to do that. But there's yeah. so many other ways we can bring color into our homes in small and big ways, right? That's right. So one of those ways might be with furniture. So yes. let's start bringing in pieces of furniture with color or maybe painting Or them. maybe painting it. I mean, so many people have a piece somewhere in their home that's just begging for a makeover, <laughs> yeah. right? And I've seen so many of them over the past five years, especially. Lots of people are showing them. Yes. They're, they're moving them from different rooms in their home. So I came across this really beautiful um, vintage curio cabinet nice. that the homeowners were using for storage and it also acted as a divider between the living room and the dining room in their open concept space. Mm -hmm. So a lot of people have this scenario but they've been dying to paint it because it's a little worse for wear and they've been dying to paint it. So 
I happen to find out about this. They and happen to be friends <laughs> with the yeah. color woman. So there you go. I was yes. like, that is a perfect piece. I could already see what it was going to look like. Uh -huh. And so I think I wanted it to be a statement on its own because it's so beautiful. But then it also had to connect with the with the rest of the space. So okay. voila, this beautiful. is what look we've she's done. done there. Look at this. That color, so, Sharon. Isn't it a Ooh. fantastic color? And Very I mean, nice. I think that there, there's a lot of colors that could have happened in there, but I wanted to start with inspiration of the wallpaper. So yeah. I was gonna just paint the back a, a bright accent color, but I absolutely fell in love with this wallpaper. So um, this is really where oh, the nice. color palette started. It's so yeah. fun, it's bright, it's happy, it's joyful, which is what they wanted to bring into the space, mm -hmm. but it really kind of set the tone for the entire color palette. So I'll open it up so that you can see all the beautiful. Look at how gorgeous that is. See, really, really simple. And because um, because it was so nice with the wallpaper on the back, we decided to change the um, wood shelves, which yes. we had already painted, but we replaced those with glass and put some light in there so that you can really showcase some really beautiful pieces, whether yeah. it's your collection of glassware or vintage, or it might even be books, but you, you're gonna wanna see the back when you do something like this. It's a standout and for those people that want some color but wouldn't want to paint all that multicolor on the furniture, exactly. it's nice to have it back there it's on nice the wallpaper. It's nice to have it back there. It just has, sets the tone for yeah. the space. And then for the actual cabinet, I went with um, my new favorite color, Vintage Vogue. Nice. So it's a nice green, it's olive green, it's got a little bit of a gray undertone so it's subtle, yeah. but it'll really make a statement against the white wall in their house. Here I put it against orange to really make it pop, mm -hmm. but you can sort of see how, um, how much fun you can have with a color like this. So let's also talk about. Also its name. And its name. Come Vintage on, I would Vogue, pick it just right? for the name and like hope it looks good. I won't Vintage say that I did, Vogue. but it, it had something to do with it. We narrowed it down to a few greens and I was hoping they liked Vintage Folk. So if we do want to be painting furniture at home or cabinetry at home, let's go through the steps. Yes, because you know what? You don't want to go to all that effort and then have it peel or have no. anything go wrong. So you want the preparation is the most important part. So in that case, it wasn't shiny. Yeah. It, was, um, it, was, it was quite aged. But in a lot of cases when we're painting furniture, it is quite shiny to begin with. So you yeah. get a sheen. So you really have to remove that in order for the paint to adhere. So mm -hmm. sand it down. You don't have to remove it completely. I like to use um, a palm sander, like one of these little guys that, that you can get into all the edges. Yes. And you can remove as much of the um, finish as necessary because you're painting. You don't have to take yeah. it all off. And you figure out what what level of sanding you need yes. on that I tend one. to start with like an 80 or even a 60. If so it's, that's a lot? That's a lot. Like that's okay. a really um, heavy yeah. grain. And then work your way down so that you're not leaving big gouges. So I usually end up with like a 100. Um, nice. to smooth it off. So then after that, you want to prime it. Now, I used Fresh Start Primer, and we mm -hmm. tinted it a little bit. Um, but if you're painting something that is still quite smooth or maybe a laminate surface, that's when you'll want to use something like Styx Primer. Because it's going to stick. It's going to stick. Okay, good. <laughs> exactly. And that's what you want if you're doing all this work. And then the top coat, um, yeah. as I said, we use Vintage Vogue. I use mm -hmm. Benjamin Moore's Advanced Paint in a pearl satin finish. So it has it has nice durability. Yeah. But to make sure that it goes on it as smooth and sort of a furniture-like finish, I highly recommend sanding with like a 120, even a 200 grit. So really, yeah. really fine in between coats. Oh, really? So, yes. And you get a really nice smooth finish when you put your last coat on and oh, I like lovely. to use a good old whiz roller but yeah and then you wait obviously in between the coats yeah, for it to you, dry you can wait 24 hours do it but okay, I think you, it. you know even 12 will probably be great and and there you go you've got like it's amazing how much you can transform a piece and you've given it a completely new life I, it looks like a brand new piece of furniture it just needed a little bit of love just and some little. color that's beautiful <laughs> uh, gorgeous piece of furniture so Sharon wants all of you to get inspired and she wants you out there you using your paint. So you're all taking home a Benjamin Moore gift card valued at $125. So enjoy that. Go get your paint. And now we are going to head back to Helen's house because it's gorgeous for a tour of her <laughs> office. Take a look. As you're walking up to the second floor, the designer chose this fantastic bowl patterned wallpaper. I just love how it contrasts against the simply white walls and highlights the beautiful lighting fixture. Now up here is the principal bedroom and off of that is this beautiful lounge slash home office. Now lots of highlights here, but come on, a wine fridge. This is fantastic. <laughs> I have great friends, um, and I love that they use Lucerne. It's a bolder blue color, but again, with all the light up here, I think it just makes so much sense. It's contrasted with this beautiful textured yet white 
shiny tile. I think it really gives a little bit of sparkle into the space. But then what I really love about this space is this fantastic mid-century inspired sofa. Laura and Helen picked this funky vintage inspired fabric. It adds a funky pattern. It works with the wallpaper. And of course, it really kind of ties in Helen's personality with all of her colorful artwork in this space. In the basement, Laura chose this fantastic wallpaper. It's so bold and colorful. I painted my fair share of stripes in the time, but I gotta say, I love the wallpaper for the texture. They balanced it with, no, not white, to bring light into the space, but this is a fantastic basement with a wonderful mood. So they used Knoxville Gray, which has a nice green undertone, and it balances the wallpaper so well. It's the perfect place for all your collectibles and areas to store things. Now, the wallpaper continues right into this multi-purpose space, you can do a little exercising, or I think for me I'd prefer to hang out with the kids here and play some air hockey.